Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a cartoony big head video effect with motion tracking and rotoscoping in After Effects. So a lot of you guys suggested me to do something like this after seeing a similar effect in the new g Easy music video. So I thought I'd just do a general example for you guys. And keep in mind that this is going to work best when you have a clear head shape to work with. There's nothing really obscuring it and getting in front of the camera too much. So if you have the luxury of planning your shots, do so with that in mind. So the first thing we're going to do with our clip is mask out the head shape. So let's go to the top here and grab our Roto Brush tool. This is like the quick selection tool in Photoshop. And this will only work when we're working on an actual layer. So let's double click on a layer that we want to select out. And now you'll see we have this new cursor that appears green. So this is where we're going to select out our rough head shape and circle it out in green. And After Effects will do its best job to attempt to see what you were trying to select. You can go back and continue making lines afterwards. And then you can also hold down Option. You see your cursor will turn red. And you can tell After Effects what you don't want to select. So kind of create a close outline around your head shape. If you want to adjust the brush size that you're working with, you can go to Window, open up the Brushes panel, and you can work with a larger or smaller brush if you want to get bigger details. For this effect, I like to pretty much grab everything above the neck, but keep the original neck intact so we can blend the two. And if you want to see what your selection looks like, you can switch between different mask modes by toggling the alphas on or off, or just seeing the white on black contrast. So once you've got a pretty decent head selection, on the left hand side in the effects control panel, you can actually adjust a few things about this. So you can add a little bit of feathering to soften it up. You can reduce or increase the contrast of the line. And you can shift the edge outward or inward if you need to pick up some detail or lose some detail. So I have a whole tutorial all about the Roto Brush tool and masking with it. You can check out for further detail, but that's basically how it works. Now that we have a decent selection of our head, let's go to the bottom here and we want to drag out these little gray arrowheads so they extend the whole duration of the time that we're trying to mask out. So I've extended out left and right, and then we want to press freeze. And what this is going to do is going to work through that section that we gave it, and it's going to analyze each frame individually and try to apply that same masking that we gave it the information for. So this is why you want to have a pretty clear unobstructed object because if something ends up crossing in front of his face or he takes his sunglasses off or scratches his nose, then you're going to have a bit of an issue and you're going to have to try to work through your selection in smaller chunks and pieces. All right, so once it's done freezing your selection across all the frames, you want to kind of go through and make sure that After Effects was able to accurately grab a good mask throughout all the frames and there was no major mess ups. And in this case, you see it did a great job masking out each individual frame, which would have took forever if we had to do 160 frames by hand. So now we have to kind of separate our big head from our original background. So let's go back to our original composition now that we're done working on the layer. And let's Command C, Command V to duplicate this big head. And on the original bottom layer, let's actually just delete that roto brush that we just did. So now we have the head on one layer and the original background on the other. Next, we're going to add some motion tracking so we can place this big head onto his shoulders and keep it motion tracked within the video so it looks more realistic. So let's go to our original track and let's open up the tracker window. Here we're going to select track motion and that's going to create a new track point for us to begin working with. So I'm going to press V on my keyboard so I get away from the brush tool. I'll move back to the pointer tool and let's move this track point over a distinguishable portion of this guy's face. So you could do the whole head if you want. In my case, it'll be easy enough to just grab one of these sunglass lenses because the bigger you make this track point area, the longer it's going to take to analyze and render out. So this little sunglass shade has enough contrast in it that I think After Effects will do a good job tracking. So I'll head to the beginning of my very first frame. I'll set everything in position and I'll press play on the tracker window and it'll analyze every single frame tracking that exact point. So just like with the roto brush, you just want to watch it and make sure nothing flies across the screen and confuses After Effects and it loses the track point. But once it's done, it'll have a set of data points for us to use on our big head. But first we need to apply those data points onto a null object. 
So let's go to Layer, New, Null Object, and on the Tracker window, let's press Edit Target to be the new Null 1 layer. So press OK, and then press Apply to apply those X and Y track points that we just made. So now we have all of that data on the Null Object. You can see all these keyframes, and we can even go back to the original Motion Tracker on the first clip and delete that tracker because we don't need it anymore. And now we need to apply these onto our cutout big head layer. So what I'm going to do is open the drop down for this masked out head layer. I'll go to the transform effects and I'll adjust the scale to be a bit larger, uh, about the size of how big you want your head to be. And then I'll also move it so that it's right into place. So that looks just about perfect for me. It's not going off the edge too much, but it's noticeably bigger and more cartoony looking. And then for the parent, we're gonna set the parent to be null one. That means it's going to pay attention to what the data in null one is, which is all those tracking points to apply to this layer. So now when we play that back, we should have a big head effect where the person's head is being tracked onto the original data. But you can see there's some tweaking we need to do his original sunglasses are kind of poking out and I should move it to the left a little bit more. So I'm gonna move this to the left a bit. So you can see that looks much better. It's covering all of his original features. The sunglasses aren't sticking out and it's selling the effect really well. So that's the final result and how you can create a big head effect in After Effects. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. You guys can reach me on social media at Justin Odisho to stay tuned with me. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.